hold to their gold records. Good one, Saxton. I don't know about you, but I've heard living boobs are more than just co-workers. I guess you'd know about that sort of thing, wouldn't you, Corey? Another good one. Hilarious. He got whipped into that corner. Offense chop. Oh, a deafening blow to the chest. High-risk area up there. Oh, I don't like this situation, guys. Oh, twist of fate. When all else fails, sometimes you just have to go the high-risk and hopefully high-reward route. Hold on. Why is Dewdrop getting involved in this? Uh, she either had second thoughts or someone hit a wrong button. Either's possible around here. Countered it just in time. Oh, Primal spiked him. And you don't just do something like that to win a match. You do that to inflict punishment. Drop kick. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He deflects it right back. Reversal on top of reversal. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. And Boogs reverses it. These two having an answer for everything. Ah, oh, right to the throat. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Uh, cutter. Good shot. Now Boots is bleeding. Able to stop the pin count here. He's going for it all. Uh-oh, time to fly! And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. That's gotta be it. Two! in the balance. What a match. Go, go, go. Oh, I think we're going to see it. Fire and grab your little dog and warm your aunt. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Makes the cover. Oh, he kicked out. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Rick Boogs is in a distressing spot. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Got him where he wants. Oh, look at a scope slam. Locks crafting something here. Textbook scoop slam. Ooh. Oh, with authority. The challenger is in some big trouble. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Mr. G. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my music hit during your match. Oh, good. It didn't really affect the outcome. Really? Boogs didn't even notice? I thought that would get his attention. <laughs> Not that I want it. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. You've got a little thing for Boogs, huh? Well, he is extremely handsome. And who knows, maybe someday we could make a little boo drop. I honestly don't know how to respond to that, other than to remind you that Liv Morgan is more than just Boogs' manager, if you know what I mean. Well, that's also sort of why I'm here. I heard a rumor that Liv has actually been talking about moving on to you. Are you interested at all? 
Yeah, I don't really know her. But maybe. Well, I think you should grant Boogs a rematch and I'll be your manager. Let me work my matchmaking magic from ringside. What do you say? Uh, manager's not really my style. Sorry. But good luck making a gumdrop or a little booger or whatever. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's The Lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Tonight, can Well, this is familiar, isn't it? It's the Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, defending his title against Rick Boogs one more time on Raw. You'd think Boogs and Liv Morgan, of all people, would have had a better handle on the music last week. I guess technical problems happen to the best of us. Sweet, simple Saxton. My money's on the beat, beat dropping one more time. On the middle row. This again. Never mind. It looks like Dewdrop actually showed up this time. And she's distracting the Intercontinental Champ. He's got him scouted. Full Nelson applied. At this point in the match, I'm surprised the ref hit two. Uses the edge of the knee. The challenger eating up some damage. Uh oh, he's on the fly. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Ooh. We're going to be agonizing for the arm. From the middle row. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Setting up for something here. Oh, not a power bomb onto the edge. Momentum is slipping away from Boots. The loss showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Comes back into the ring. He is looking to do some serious harm. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Breaker. Locke might be looking to fly. That's insane! Position. Here it comes. Paying it right back with a reversal. Off the shoulders. A backbreaker. And a buster. The champ has this one in hand now. Uh oh, time to fly. That was taking the 
attack to the competition with that one. Climbing to the top rope. That's insane! Oh, misses the mark. The champ getting put on the back foot. Boom! Here's the pump handle. Oh, Suplex! Launched. Nice. All right, I don't know if anyone can match Rick Boog's excitement level. The lock could have stopped to that. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? That's insane! All the way to the outside. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Two. Three. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh my gosh! Off the shoulders. A backbreaker. Championship level move. That's insane. The moves up. Is it enough? The cover. The champion retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Mr. G. Did you have anything to do with Dewdrop's deranged lies about me? So, I take it you don't have a huge crush on me? Nope, but I am down to team up with you to rearrange Dewdrop's lying face. Yeah, that makes two of us.
Now this is an odd couple. The following is scheduled for... How are these two going to get along? It's musical chair madness here on Raw as allegiances have been upended and new partnerships formed on the fly. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with the unlikeliest of allies, Liv Morgan, to take on Rick Boogs and his new boo, Dewdrop. Please don't start calling them. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Boo Drop. Right. A club with a right forearm. Drives a foot into the stomach. Man, what a gut buster. Set on from the apron. He's getting a little batter now. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Has Dewdrop in her grip. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Oh, man! What a forearm! <laughs> what a forearm! Offense chop echoing through the arena. Oh, my God! All the way to the outside. That hurt. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. Oh, what an Is it enough here? A kick out before the referee can get to one. Not enough pressure on the pin. And he's able to counter. Something. Slam! What impact. Oh! On well, the middle rope. Nail Blackliner! Cover! Two! Barely kicks out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Respect. There it is. That is a game changer. Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. Not time to expect victory yet. Oh, and that buys some time. of the lock. He eludes the contract. This is not good. You don't say, Saxton. And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock isn't holding anything back. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Nice cross body. Ball the forearm smack. And Dewdrop fends her off. Back and forth from these competitors. Dewdrop keeps her away. Powerful contact by Luke Morgan. DDT! I can't 
get no. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Take off. must be kept on. Oh, ouch. She's staying elusive. more she can take. Yeah. Oh man, by the hair! And whip! She tags out, so now it's the men one-on-one. -on -one. Superstar creating a little distance. Gonna close in quick. Here it comes. Boom. Running hip attack. Cover here. Save. Uh -huh. Still got more fight here. Moved at the right time. The temple's getting mad. The shoulders. A backbreaker. And a buster. Is it enough to put boobs away? The cover. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Whoa. Typical guy hiding behind his woman. Pretty drop kick. Dewdrop is being stopped. Dangerous situation. Jumping complete shot. Face first. Can Morgan clinch this one? Cover. Two. And then it'll be it. Finally a victory. What a hard fought win. Here are your winners. Mr. King and Morgan. A good time was had by all. Matches like this are why the WWE Universe loves mixed tag matches. Winning a mixed tag match has nothing but good feelings. There is definitely a feeling of excitement in the air. Hey, champ. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. 
Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I think people have seen me face Sami and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me Theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in L.A. promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks, and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 200 at And introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 200 at 20.
Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Mr. G. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So, who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP 
and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. As someone who knows a thing or two about growing pains in WWE, can I give you some advice? Go for it. Three words, ignore the haters. So you've seen Cameron Grimes and Happy Corbin chirping at me on social media. Chirpers gonna chirp, and they sure as heck chirped at me during my retribution days. Oh, I don't trust anybody around here yet, but thanks for the tip. Hey, I get it. I didn't come up through the PC either. I know what it's like to feel like an outsider here. And I definitely know what it's like to find yourself in a costume you didn't pick. Doesn't mean you can't- What's in it for you? Never hurts to have friends, even for us out- At this rate, a little guidance couldn't hurt. I'm in. What's my next move? You're already an IC champ. But you don't find your voice in WWE by winning titles. You do it by sending strong messages. Which is why you need to silence the voices calling you out. I hear you loud and clear. And so will Cameron Grimes. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following is scheduled for one fall. Perhaps the richest man in all of WWE. Cameron Grimes, and guess what? The Intercontinental Champ. Things have gotten personal between The Lock and Cameron Grimes, but it's all business tonight with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. The IC champ has certainly been thrown into the deep end right out of the gate here in WWE. Time to see if he sinks or swims. I think he's been spending too much time worrying about what people are saying on social media. It could end up costing him his title here tonight. No respect at all with that action. But it could also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. A flat out power into the scoop slam. By Grimes. No. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Uh oh, darn the fly. The lock looking to go airborne. Taking flight. 
consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. He tried to make quick work of things and almost succeeded. Attacks left and right. Yeah, Grimes has to consider reassessing his strategy. That's insane! Oh. For the win! Two count, he kicks out at two. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. You were a little rough around the edges out there, but you got the job done. Nice work. Listen, I know you're showing me the ropes or whatever, but I've already got a mentor. Tavish, right? I used to watch him back in his WCW days. Don't think I ever saw him win too many matches, though. Not sure what he can teach you. What you saw in WCW wasn't the real Tavish. Do your homework. He's a highly skilled, tough as nails competitor who taught me a lot. I'm not trying to replace anyone, so just hear me out. <sighs> okay, I'm listening. Take it or leave it, but I'd teach Corbin a lesson about speaking out of turn. Maybe turn his smile upside down. 
I'll see what I can do. <laughs>